hello everybody um welcome back uh today we're going to do a um a passenger backrest uh remember that we did a rider backrest a couple of videos ago and uh i finally got my passenger backrest in uh, my wife expressed interest in riding with me again so um she wouldn't ride with me on the other goal wing so we wanted a couple of rides on this one and uh she was afraid that uh she would be she would just slide off the back uh, she needs to hold on but anyway uh, i ordered a backrest for this one and um i didn't want another tour a tour uh i like the way this one looks uh without the big bags on the back of them uh, it, it, it really does look sweet. So. Factory one. Because it was more than $350. And I'm not going to pay that much. So. I ordered a show crown. Show chrome and um, this basically gets installed back here under this area here so the uh, back seat the, the seat has to come off again uh, and everything has to be opened and I believe this piece also needs to be removed so um, we're going to get into it here in a second and uh, get this thing installed. Okay, here we go. Um, open this thing up and see what we got. Oh, not much to it, is there? Okay. And then we have uh, the bolts in the box. And that's pretty much it. Cushion to it. Not too bad. All right, let's get going here. Okay, it does have some instructions. <laughs> Honda does not. Uh, you have to look it up on the internet to get theirs. So. Apparently, we're going to have to do some cutting here. Hmm. Okay, hopefully it's not that bad. We'll see. We will see. Okay, well obviously the first steps are you need to open saddlebags. And of course you're going to have to remove these panels right here and they just pop out like that put them inside your saddlebags so they won't get scratched up
Okay, next step, we need to take the seat off. And there are two bolts underneath here. Uh, see them? I don't know if you can see them. Right there. And they're going to be... I think they're going to be a 6 millimeter Allen wrench. But... I'm going to take those off. Okay, now the uh, front portion of the seat pops off. That. slides forward like that and you take it off okay next thing is you take a small awl or you can have a small uh, Phillips head and take these push pins out just push them in like that okay and they just pull right out I guess it doesn't. So let's take these uh, covers off. And we still have to take these two bolts off. Okay. Right, we have two bolts away. Now it should be able to come off. Okay, uh, <laughs> it took a little bit of doing, but uh, finally got this thing off. Um, it has two very very hard clips in the back and uh, you got to put some muscle into it to get them off then you see these two marks right here and these two guides right here and this is where you're going to be putting the backrest okay now next thing we have to do we have to take this little piece off and then we're going to have to um, cut this right here so the uh, bracket can clear okay so that's the next step
Don't forget to take these little things out too. Which the instructions didn't say anything about, so. Okay, now we have to cut this. Okay, as you can see, I uh, used a hacksaw and cut inside the lines, factory lines here on this uh, little piece of plastic on uh, both sides. Okay, now we're gonna put this thing back together I'm going to have to change batteries on my camera here in a second. Hold on. Okay, as you can see, cut the center part out, and uh, next um, we can um, install the seat back. Okay, so let's get going on that. I'll keep the plastic on just to it and that's gonna go on like this so, lines up his holes
Normally, um, I would put on some uh, little thread lock, keep it from backing out. But I don't have any on me right now, so. Just gonna have to trust it. For the time being. Alright, there it is. It's pretty sturdy. Next thing is to uh, install this and put the seat on and we're ready to go. Okay? Alright. Get this on. We just uh, lined it up and just pushed it in and made sure that these two um, little pop rivets down there pop into the hole then um, we're just going to bolt everything back up I'm going to use this again for the seats. And uh, we have our two little push pins here. All right, we're going to have to line it up again. down here and go all the way in okay next, next is to uh, install the seat there's a hook underneath here slide it back but you got to get it in the right place it won't go anywhere there we go Sometimes it takes a few times. Line everything up here.
And just make sure everything's batting down. Okay. Okay, and there's your finished product. Nice and sturdy. This one bends down, bends around, but it stays put when you're riding. This is the Honda one. Um, this is show chrome. That gives a little more style. Well, the hardest part was basically getting this cover off. You really have to pull hard because these tabs under here are really holding on. So um, I think for the first time, they will be a bear to get off. Um, that doesn't really matter the first or second time. I mean, the second or third time because they'll be that'll be a little easier now Karakin and the factory uh, they basically have two bolt holes here you take these covers off and you bolt them down but those suckers are almost four hundred dollars uh, three three fifty something so uh, you're paying the price for easy um, on this one the worst part you have to do is cut this little this little center piece here and uh, to make room for this bracket so it'll slide on so that's basically it. it it wasn't all that bad it's just getting this cover off was the worst part so thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you next time